Let's actually go with a lumberjack balloon into the pocket. Let's have the freeze ready, guys. I'll actually go with a freeze right now. Yo, what's up, guys? Sigical Golden here, and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, as you guys see, I'm 9 1 in this grand challenge right now. So, we'll of course try to get to the 12 wins live for you guys. With, in my opinion, the only deck which has freeze in it and is actually good, as you guys see, we have Pekka, we have Ice Wizard, Tornado, Lumberjack, Balloon, Freeze, Tornado, Zap, and then also Mega Minion. So, this deck is actually super solid, guys. Can be a little bit tricky in some matchups since we don't have a big spell. But the freeze, well, I guess it's not that um, yeah much of a surprise factor anymore because this deck is actually quite popular, to be honest. You guys might recognize it, actually. But as I mentioned, this is, in my opinion, the only deck which is good with freeze right now. So that's why I'm going to yeah play with it in today's video and share it with you guys. Because actually, I did get a little bit of, um, or like some requests, like in the comment section, could you guys share, like, or could you, not you guys, could you share, um, like, in, in your opinion, like, the best deck with freeze? So that's what I'm going to do in today's video. I would say let's open to the first match, guys. Let's see what kind of match we get and let's see how we're able to, yeah, deal with it. So let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck. So with this tank, usually I just try to be a little bit patient. I try to figure out like my opponent's, um, first of all, deck. Second of all, for example, the counters, like to the balloon. Let's say he has um, Electro Wizard and Mega Man. If he uses one of them, like in Double Elixir, like the freeze, you should definitely not um, overextend with it because I feel like a lot of people end up, for example, freezing with their first push. And then afterwards, like the counter push, uh, yeah, they can't defend because they spend so much Elixir like on offense. But if you know, like, for example, with this freeze, you will be able to take down the tower. It's definitely not a bad idea. Um, yeah, kind of overcommitting in the end because, well, in, for example, overtime, of course, the first person to take down the tower, like, wins. So in some situations, overextending with this deck is definitely not a bad option. But in most of them, I wouldn't recommend it. So let's actually go with a pack off here for the... Um, oof, actually a great pack. He actually put his better arm into that. I don't think we should... Yeah, I was about to say drop anything else. So this is actually a great pack, guys. I'm pretty sure this guy has means as well um so not sure i guess i would just wait and then if he goes with me right now yeah i was about to say if he goes with me right now i'll actually go in the balloon into the other lane so let's see guys uh, i have two options right now i can either okay looks like he actually gives us a great zap over here and i'll actually go with a freeze knowing that he just gave us such a good zap he might be able to counter push here for example like putting a dark prince in front but as you see balloon is able to get two hits uh looks like he is able to get the dark prince in front so i'll actually let the dark prince lock on i'll actually let the electro wizard lock on and then i would just go with a lumberjack so maybe honestly this was a little bit of an overcommitment on uh, the freeze. I mean we did end up taking a lot of damage or uh, dealing a lot of damage but we also end up taking a lot of damage. So not sure if it's worth it but I guess it was fine. I mean uh, his tower is down to 407 and our is still over 700. So I guess I would just cycle Ice Wizard in the back. Don't really want to play my Pekka in the back because this way like he might be able to go like Pekka other lane like at the bridge like really aggressive. Looks like he actually goes with his um, poison, so I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, I'm not sure if he'll drop something in the back. If he does, I'll actually go with my Pekka over here. So let's go with a Pekka into the bandit. Looks like he goes with his own Pekka. So honestly, this situation, um, pretty good for us, because this way we can go with a balloon behind it. Let's actually go with a lumberjack behind the Pekka, and let's try to get a good freeze going over here. Looks like he actually misclicks his Ewis. I think that will, yeah, I was about to say, I think that will run away, guys um okay looks like he actually goes with his better arm let's actually go with uh mega me and zap and let's actually tornado all of that there so i think we should be able to um, i was I'm i was for some reason really tempted to freeze like on the on defense there against like the pack and stuff but i guess i'll just um yeah let that tower go and i guess i can maybe push here with oof not sure if this is a good idea guys um looks like he will have his electro wizard there so lumberjack is able to get one hit i guess yeah i should definitely not freeze off here because this way he will just be able to get um a huge counter push like right now the counter push is already huge but then even more so let's see what we can do guys let's actually go with a zap off here and i think i'll actually go with a defensive freeze and then i will go with a mega main on top so defensive freeze just to be able to yeah make sure like we won't lose the tower off here uh, make sure like that uh, pekka and for example there the mega main is able to counter out of that Looks like he does actually go with a second Pekka, so we do need to watch out over here. Let's actually go with a high uh, Lumberjack. Let's actually go with a Zap over here. Um, Lumberjack is able to kill all of that. If he goes with, like, Batram or something, I'll actually go with my Pekka. Well, I think anyways, yeah. Anyways, I'll go with my Pekka because his Pekka was still quite healthy. So don't really felt like, uh, yeah, risking, like, not taking any hits or something. I'd rather play it safe. So let's actually go with a Mega Man. Let's actually go with a Balloon. Pekka tanking. So this is actually a really good moment for us to go with our Balloon. Let's actually go with a Freeze like this. 
Um, and since the Pekka is tanking, I don't even need to freeze the tower in this situation. As you see, Balloon still basically full HP. We'll be able to reach to the tower. We'll probably even be able to get a second hit. But anyways, yeah, as you see, is even is even able, excuse me, to be able to get a second hit. So let's give him a good game. Let's give him a well played. And let's give him a thumbs up. Even if it didn't get a second hit, the death damage would have already been enough in that situation. So also what you guys uh, could see there in the end, like the freeze, I don't, uh, or like you don't have to like always use it to freeze the tower. In this situation, we were able to freeze the electric wizard the minions um the dark prince and of course like the pekka was taking for the tower so this allowed the balloon to easily get to the tower and yeah finish off the game the right to tower with two balloon drops so let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good, uh, good luck 10 or 10 1 in the grand challenge right now let's uh, start off with a lumberjack looks like he goes with his bandit so let's see what he's using bandit um and an um, inferno dragon first thing which comes up in my mind is mega knight like mega knight with Bandit, uh, for example, minions, maybe Ram Rider. Looks like he has a better Ram. Looks like he does have minions as well. So I'm pretty sure this is Mega Knight. Not sure though. But so far, like all of the cards of his do look like a Mega Knight. So let's actually go with our uh, Balloon and let's then go with a Lumberjack. So Lumberjack hopefully will be tanking or not. No, Lumberjack unfortunately will not be tanking. Really good Electro Waste on his part. Actually allowed... Um, or actually didn't allow the lumberjack to go in front maybe to be honest i did uh drop like the balloon a little bit high because the lumberjack was the next card and sometimes it does actually take quite a while to be able to get like the next card in your hand not sure if you guys have this as well but for example if you well especially with quick cycle like, like if you cycle really quick then the next uh card like to come in your hand like always takes well like in this case like Mega Me was kind of uh, quickly but i don't know i think you guys know what i mean but anyways looks like he goes with his inferno dragon index so as i said i'm pretty sure this is um this is Mega Knight. I mean, he has all the cards of a Mega Knight deck. He does have Snowball, so no Zep. So, uh, well, I guess in this matchup, it's even worse for us because, like, we don't have Inferno Tower. But I guess in general, like, for example, Inferno Tower, his deck actually does do really bad against. Let's actually go with a back in the back, guys. He goes with his Better Ram. So, let's actually see if he this uh, time rushes in the other lane with a Mega Knight. Of the Knights. Okay, looks like he actually has Pekka. So, Pekka... Inferno Dragon um, minions. I guess this guy doesn't like playing against Golem. Pekka, Inferno Dragon minions, Snowball, Electro Wizard, and I guess not against Balloon. Anyways, guys, let's actually go with our Lumberjack Balloon into left side lane. Mm, not sure if I should freeze here. I don't think so, to be honest. Um, okay, looks like he does actually go with. Let's actually go with a Mega Min over here. Let's see what else he drops. Let's go with a Zap just to make sure we don't take too much damage. So, uh, I decided to take a little bit of damage onto the left side. This way, like, we yeah, kind of split his damage on both towers. Mega Min is actually able to get two hits onto the right side. So, that's really good for us. Let's actually see uh, what he drops. He might actually go... Okay, let's go with a freeze over here. Not sure if that's too aggressive. Maybe it actually is. Balloon is able to get um, two hits onto the tower. But I think that's not even enough. Honestly, I think we might have lost, guys. Um... Okay, so left side tower is for sure lost. And I'm pretty sure we lost just because there's only 8 seconds left. No way for us to take down the tower since we don't have a big spell. And I don't think the Lumberjack or the Balloon will be able to reach to the tower. Unless we somehow have a miracle. No, as you see, the time is already over. So let's give him a good game. Let's give him a well played. And let's give him a thumbs up. Super unfortunate matchup over there. Honestly, I definitely could have played it better. But still pretty unfortunate. Snowball, Minions, Electro Wizard. Um, and then of course the Inferno Dragon. And since we don't have a big spell, it was really difficult for us to break through. Probably an overcommitment on the minions, um, like freezing the minions and Electro Wizard, really well played on his part as well, like pressuring the other lane right away when I froze like with a better M, knowing that I kind of overextended, like he punished me on the other lane, but I think in my opinion it was the only thing to be able to get a um, yeah, balloon connection, maybe I should have waited a little bit, for example if he doesn't have his better M in cycle, like let's say he just went with his better M, uh, me countering it with, uh, with let's say like a Pekka, a Lumberjack, and then afterwards like with that counter push like going with balloon freeze, um so maybe a little bit aggressive but anyways guys we still have a chance we still have a life and we just need to win two more matches so i would say let's just hop into the next match looks like third opponent takes off so i guess i would just add out when we fight our third opponent okay guys looks like we found the third opponent so let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck uh yeah let's start to focus of course after losing we don't have any more chances if we lose this one we're out and we still need to win two more matches so let's see what we uh yeah are up against we have lumberjack freeze tornado ice wizard becca next card so looks like he goes with his uh barbell I guess I will go with my Ice Wizard just to make sure the Barb doesn't get any damage. And then also kind of cycling. So it looks like another Bandit. So Barb Roll um, and Bandit. Not sure what deck this could be. Could be, for example, like a Pekka deck as well. Could be... 
a lot of things, but also with the Electro Wizard, pretty sure this is Pekka, so honestly not sure about this matchup. I will actually wait a little bit with my Pekka because I feel like he might support this with, for example, Veteran or something. Looks like he doesn't. Uh, I will actually try to activate my King Tower here with the Tornado. Let's see if I did it. Yeah, as you can see, I was able to do it correctly. So this will definitely help us in the rest of our match. Um, also, since I didn't really want to waste my Pekka, like my hand was kind of awkward. So first of all, it was awesome to cycle. But anyways, it's obviously worth it. Um, activating the King Tower is, of course, awesome, especially in the, bit, in the beginning of the match. And we barely took any damage. So let's see guys, this starting hand, or with this, not starting hand, but with this hand we have right now, don't really like it. I mean, Zep is actually really good for an offense, but I guess we can just cycle a Zep towards the tower. I'm not sure why this guy's waiting. Um, pretty sure he has a Becca deck, maybe a Mega Knight deck. I mean, after seeing Barbell, Bandit, Electro Wizard, I'm like 90% sure this is a Becca deck. Looks like he also has a better M. So let's see what he drops. Um, if he supports it with anything else, I'll go with Pekka. If not, I will just go with a Lumberjack. Might be able to get a good counter push going to be honest over here. Looks like he does go with his uh, Dark Prince. A little bit late. Mega Man actually is able to get two hits onto the left side tower. Looks like he also goes with his Bar Barrel. So uh, let's actually go with a Balloon into the Rage over here. Pretty sure he will end up having minions. Yeah, as you guys see, he will end up having minions. But with the Zep and with the Rage, that actually, as you guys see, forced out another response. So he also uh, yeah, used his Electro Wizard. Even though we didn't get a connection, in my opinion, it was still worth it. I'll actually go with a Pekka. Hopefully, this will be able to... Yeah, I was about, uh, about to say. Hopefully, that will be able to stop the Veteran in time without taking any damage. Um, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I guess I would just support it behind. I was about to say, maybe I should go in the other lane. But I'm pretty sure it's a good idea to go into the same lane. Um, especially knowing that we can get a pretty solid freeze over here. Let's go with a freeze right now. As you see, everything raged up. Let's actually go with a Zep to be able to kill... Um, the minions Pekka of us, like in the rage, is able to with especially the help of the freeze. Like, of course, his units are frozen in that situation. He's able to destroy like basically everything. Let's go with a new Pekka. Looks like he goes with his um Oh, actually, really good bandit. Sneaky bandit over there. Actually, tanked for the better ram, and then the better ram was able to connect onto the tower. But luckily for us, I mean the game wasn't even uh, that close. Like our tower right now is still at almost 1500 HP. So that was definitely a really strong push, guys. It's actually super hard, like, if you think about it, to defend, like, um, like a P.E.K.K.A. And then, for like, with his deck, for example, P.E.K.K.A., um, Lumberjack, and then Balloon, like, behind it. So I guess that's what I should have done, like, in the other game. Well, I guess he did have also Inferno Dragon and Snowball. But I probably should have done the same as what I did in this game. Like, for example, uh, counter-pushing. Um, like, for example, stopping his better ram with a P.E.K.K.A. And then counter-pushing with, let's say, like, Lumberjack Balloon. And then going with a Freeze and Zap, or maybe sometimes even Freeze and Tornado, or Tornado Zap, or whatever. Uh, on offense just to be able to allow the balloon to connect to the tower so as you see 11 to in the grand challenge right now i would say let's open to the last match for sure the last match of course like as before if we lose we're out but right now we're actually only one win away from completing this grand challenge so it looks like again surge of opponent takes all so i guess i'll just add out when we find our last opponent okay guys as you see we found the last match so let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him the good luck he's already saying wow wow so let's see uh yeah what our opponent is using of course we have balloon zap ice wizard pekka next card is a freeze so I do have to uh, admit, like with this deck, you can actually have pretty awkward cycles. But it looks like he actually goes with his um, Lava Hound. Looks like Lumberjack next card. But I'm not sure if I should even go with um, it right now. Let's actually go with Yeah, I guess I'll just go with it. Let's go with a Balloon. Let's go with Lumberjack. Just praying that he doesn't have a Main Hoarder or something. Uh, looks like he does have Tombstone. Looks like he does have a Mega Minion. So luckily for us, isn't able to... Uh, yeah, actually targeted. Looks like he does go with his... Okay, so looks like he goes with his own balloon. Our balloon is able to get two hits onto the tower, but I'm pretty sure we should be able to defend this quite... Um, not necessarily easily, but quite well. Let's actually go with our Mega Man protecting the Ice Wizard. And let's then end up zapping his uh, yeah, pups from the Laugh Hound. So his balloon on the King Tower is able to get two hits. Um, so we do need to watch out with like the damage overall, because as you see, right side tower down to 1151, King Tower down to 2140, and left side tower, I decided to, to, uh, to take two hits from the Mega Man. So honestly, pretty, um, yeah, decent start, I would say. I mean, not the best start, of course, but let's actually go with our Ice Wizard again. I'm not sure if I should pressure into the left side. Uh, I guess I should, to be honest. Just because this way, like, also he won't be able to uh, build that big of a counter push or a, a push in general. So it looks like he again fills his tornado. Not sure what, um, what's up with that. But anyways, let's see. So left side tower is for sure down. Do need to watch out off here with... Um... Okay, looks like he goes with his fireball. Good fireball on his part, to be honest. Let's actually go with the ice wizard like this. Hopefully tanking. Um, or at least, like, yeah, I was about to say... At least uh, targeting like the Mega Man. It looks like he actually ends up going with his balloon. So I think 
Not sure if this is a good play, guys, but I'll actually go with a defensive freeze because this way it will force out um, at least another response or at least like a fireball or something. Uh, because as you see, okay, it looks like actually the Lava Pops didn't end up dying, so that was unfortunate. Maybe a um, little bit of a, not necessarily overcommitment, but a little bit of a bad freeze to be honest. Let's actually go with a P.E.K.K.A. in the back. He went with his Lava... Okay, looks like he's actually going for a 3 crown. Um, let's see if we're able to defend this one. Let's actually go with a Mega Me and let's actually go with a Zap on defense. Okay, looks like he goes with his uh, Balloon as well, so let's go with a freeze. Um, and let's see, guys. Okay, interesting that he actually decided to fireball zap my Ice Wizard rather than the Mega Man. I mean, in this case, Ice Wizard, of course, is super annoying for him. But honestly, in this case, I feel like um, the Mega Man was like the damage dealer in this situation. Anyways, guys, let's go with a Lumberjack. Let's go with a Balloon. I was hoping for him to go with his um, with his Lava. And looks like he doesn't. So I'll actually go with a Freeze off here. Um, Okay, looks like he goes with his fireball. Of course, with the rage, the balloon is still able to get one hit onto the tower. Mega Man is actually able to kill his Mega Man. And honestly, this is actually quite intense and actually quite um, yet yeah, equal. Let's see, guys. Let's go with a Mega Man. Let's see what he drops. He doesn't have fireball cycle. So if he does go with his laugh out, okay, looks like he actually goes with his um, minions. Let's see what we can do. Let's actually, okay, let's, let's go with a freeze right here. Let's actually end up going with a zap as well, just to make sure like we kill the minions. This way the balloon, yeah, I was about to say, this way the balloon is able to get to the tower. Unless he goes with a defensive fireball. So we forced out another fireball with that freeze. So let's see. It looks like he goes with a zap. Let's actually go with a Mega Man. Next card is the balloon. So right now, honestly, we're in a pretty good cycle. Let's actually go with an Ice Wizard over here, guys. Um, and let's see what he drops. Let's actually go with Lumberjack. And let's go with a balloon right now. Okay, so we'll play on his part with a Tombstone. Let's actually go with a Zep on defense. Um, he honestly might go with a Balloon over here. I think he would. Okay, looks like he does. So let's actually go with a Tornado and a Freeze. Uh, so Tornado Freeze, as you see, is able to kill, for example, Minions. Is able to, for example, kill uh, Lava Pops. Looks like he does go with a Fireball. Fireball? Yeah, I was about to say. Or the Balloon is, isn't able to get a hit onto the tower. So Fireball wasn't really necessary in that situation, to be honest. Let's go with a Lumberjack. Let's go with a Mega Man uh, over here to tank. And knowing that he doesn't have Fireball and Cycle, he actually ends up failing his Tombstone with the help of the Rage of the Lumberjack. Oof, the Balloon almost made it to the tower. And let's see, guys. Let's go with uh, Ice Wizard on defense. He honestly might get a little bit uh, desperate and go with aggressive Balloons. Looks like he doesn't. Uh, Wobbler on his part. Let's actually see. Looks like he goes with his Mega Man. So let's actually go with a Lumberjack Balloon into the pocket. Let's have the freeze ready, guys. I'll actually go with a freeze right now. Pretty good freeze to be honest. Freeze will be able to uh, freeze both of them. Looks like he does go with the tombstone. Let's go with a zap. As you guys see, the rage balloon is able to get a hit onto the tower. And it will be a good game. So let's give him a good game. Let's give him a wall plate. And let's give him a thumbs up. Awesome last game. Super intense to be honest. Not sure who is the matchup here. I mean, for both players, it's actually pretty hard to break through. For him, it's really hard to break through like our defense with like zap, tornado, ice wizard, mega me. Like pretty quick cycle. Also, we are able to keep quite a lot of pressure. But since we don't have a big spell, it's just so annoying, like him having Barbarians, Tombstone, Mega Man, and Fireball, like on defense, of course, offense as well, but especially like defense, Fireball is actually super good against the Balloon. Um, and then, of course, the Minions, like Minions, to be able to kill Minions, always we need a Zap, we need a Freeze, uh, combined like with the Zap, or a Tornado combined with that, or like an Ice Wizard hit, but just the Zap, of course, doesn't do much against um, yeah, Minions, so we are able to complete the Grand Challenge, going from 9-1 to 12-2 in this video. So as I said, this is, in my opinion, the best deck um, or maybe the only good deck with Freeze out there, in my opinion. Anyways, guys, let me know if you guys have any other decks like which you guys are actually having success with with Freeze. Might be able to try it out or maybe even for a future video. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. But anyways, let's hop into the chest opening. So it looks like we get 22k gold, which is always nice. Uh, we get some Dark Goblins, Elixir Collector, Goblins, Valkyrie. Looks like we get some E-Barbs. Honestly, after the buff, I still haven't seen any E-Barbs. I didn't even try it, to be honest, after the buff. Um, looks like we got some Giant. We got some Bombers, Cannon, Zeppis. 380 Minions, 354 Minion Horde. Looks like next card, Ice Golem. So, unfortunately, no uh, Legendary. But still a pretty nice chest. And as you see, 11 Epics. So, that's, of course, awesome. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, make sure to smack the like button. If not, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to subscribe. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye, guys.